brickworks near Peterborough turn out half a million bricks per week and employ over 200 men. Nearby are the pits where the clay is scooped up by modern mechanical excavators. After passing through the crushing mill, the clay is fed into the machines which stamp out the bricks. At this stage, they are dark bluish grey, so soft that they have to be handled with great care. Now the soft bricks are on their way to the ovens, where they remain at a steady temperature, hermetically sealed for a fortnight. The ovens don't work continuously, but are allowed to cool for the men to get inside and stack the bricks, then started up for the baking, and cooled again for the removal of the finished bricks. We're on top of one of the ovens now, with the stoker feeding the fires with fine coal, through a hundred small holes, each sealed with a heavy metal cover. This electrical machine helps him to keep the oven at a steady temperature by measuring the redness of the fire below. Now the oven has been cooled down and we are inside it with the men removing the bricks and stacking them ready for export to all parts of the world. And that's how bricks are born, the service of man. The end of their career is often rather more spectacular. To beautify America's capital, these two old chimneys in Washington each 150 feet high are being pulled down to make way for a park. Here comes the first one. That was a bad fall. Send it back. The second one is on a wooden base, so they're burning it away. Any minute now, it's coming. <laughs> 